So in this video, let's look at the results from a usability test and how to quickly identify problems faced by users. Usability tests live in your personal or group workspace, like your prototypes. And the usability test section shows you all the usability tests and its current status. Clicking on the usability test card will open up the report. Now the report is designed to help you gather insights without having to review the individual sessions and contains four main sections. First is the task analytics overview. This shows a brief task description, the success rate, and the number of participants who succeeded and the average time on task. Next, we have the completion funnel, which is an aggregate representation of the expected path. It shows how many people use the exact path and where the drop-offs occur. It also shows the first interaction for each user and whether it was expected, shown as a blue circle, or a misclick, shown as a red diamond. And you can see the legend to review what those markers mean. Below that, you have user segments, which automatically categorizes participation based on whether they used the expected path, used an alternate success path, or could not complete the task with the design provided. The participation details table shows the session details for each user with a timeline view that visualizes the expected and unexpected interactions. So in this example, the third task was completed by four of seven users, the most problematic one. So naturally, this is the one we should inspect in more detail. To make it easy to understand what happened during the session, the details table shows a timeline preview that is annotated with markers. If there are no usability issues, you may only see blue circles as markers. That is not the case here. The red markers are shown when there are interactions we did not expect. Hovering on the marker will show you a thumbnail preview of the screen and where the user clicked. You can click on the marker or click on View Path to see the Click Path Explorer. Here you can see all the steps used by the participant to complete that task and all the interactions performed by them on each step. If the user has provided a video replay, you will see a play video option listed. You can either play back the entire video or jump straight to the portion where you see the red markers. The video timeline matches the one shown in the details table earlier. If the user has enabled voice and camera, you will be able to see their face and hear them as they use the prototype. To view any feedback added by the users, click on the comments icon. If you created this usability test in a group workspace, other members will automatically have access. So, to sum up, the usability test report has been designed to surface interesting moments visually using the completion funnel and timeline preview. And the click path view allows you to draw insights quickly even when videos are not available.